Okay, so is the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus still relevant now that we have the new lineup, the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 lineup? Let's go ahead and talk about it. Now the short and very straightforward answer is yes. And I do have a follow-up question. What were you thinking? Wondering whether the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus is relevant today now that we have the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 lineup. Of course it is. It still is. The Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 is as well. In fact, I would even argue that the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 with the Snapdragon 855, I'm gonna say, is still relevant to a certain extent, but we're not gonna go down that rabbit hole. But anyway, so the Tab S7, Tab S7 Plus, top level tablets, even in today's standard. Sure, you know, the Snap, the chipset might be a couple generations old, right? Snapdragon 865 Plus would be what you find on the Tab S7 and the Tab S7 Plus, but those things, they are beast. Performance, still very good. I have the Tab S7 Plus, I have the S8 Plus, when I'm comparing, you know, obviously there's a difference in terms of performance, but it is, I'm not gonna say that it's that drastic. You know, what I typically advise people to do is, if you can skip a generation, I'll say go ahead and do so. Now, you can argue that, well, this is technically two generations down since the Galaxy Tab S7 dropped, because I believe it dropped, what, over a year and a half ago? I could be wrong, but still, it performs so very well. You have to understand that we have come to an era where technology, you know, devices are just so good that unless you're skipping a couple of generations, you won't really notice that much of a difference and you won't be able to really take full advantage of, you know, all of the value that you can get. You know, a lot of times when people ask me, what tablet should I go for? You know, I ask for their needs, I ask what they would like to do, you know, what they're planning on doing with a tablet. And a lot of times I find that, you know, people's needs actually end up being matched by tablets or devices that were released maybe the previous year, you know, or maybe even two years ago, right? So these are just a few things that you have to keep in mind along with other things. Now, granted, the newer generation is nice to have a new tablet, right? Because then you have even longer support, like it is the case with the newer generation of a flagship tablet by Samsung. You have now up to four years of four OS, you know, four major updates, which generally tend to come yearly. So you have four as opposed to three with the previous one, and then you have five for security update, which of course is very good but when it comes down to just doing a comparison this is not a comparison video by the way but anyway so when you put them side by side and you're looking at the hardware and i've said this a million times right so just cosmetically it is essentially the same tablet tab s8 well the tab s8 plus in this case and the tab s7 essentially the same tablet they look alike they feel the same they perform you know slightly differently as i mentioned if it's just for like day-to-day -day stuff you won't really notice the difference but you will start noticing the difference if you're doing anything heavy you know maybe I don't know, trying to render some videos, some 4K, 8K videos, whatever the case may be, you will start noticing that. Also, some heavy apps, you might notice that you know, Galaxy Tab S8 Plus there opens them slightly faster than it is the case here. But in any event, where are you going? If your Galaxy Tab S8 Plus opens something one one hundredth of a fraction faster than mine, almost not noticeable, there's really no true palpable or no true tangible advantage to that. But of course, it will come down to what you are buying a tablet for, right? So for some people who are buying it maybe to edit videos and things like that, that would matter. There are situations where those things matter. But anyway, going back to the tablet itself here, it is an excellent tablet. What I have here is the base model. Of course, I typically go for the base model because you know with Android, you have the ability to expand the storage out up to one terabyte. So 128 gigs with six gigs of, 128 gigs of internal storage with six gigs of RAM. Although with the Galaxy Tab S8 Plus, the base is gonna run you 128 gigs with eight gigs of RAM, which is one of the upgrades, right? So there are a few upgrades, but sticking to this here, the Galaxy Tab S7 is still very, very relevant. In fact, I would argue that for people, for the average user, right? The average user who is just going more for value. I've always said that the, the, you know, the channel here leans towards value. So if you are trying to maximize, you know, value, try to get the best bang for your buck, then the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus may be something for you to consider. It will come down to you deciding why, you know, making the decision and answering a few questions, why are you buying a tablet? What are you planning on doing with a tablet? And all that good stuff in order to decide, you know, what the best value, because me saying that this will offer the best value doesn't apply to everyone. There are people who will get 
the most value out of the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8. The reason I'm saying that this is good for the average user because generally the average user looking for a tablet is looking for something that they will save a little bit of money on, still get the best bang for their buck. Like I mentioned, if you're a student, this should cover you. I get a lot of comments from people who are in medical school or from doctors. This should handle everything, you know, all of your needs. In fact, if you're a doctor, from my understanding, you may be doing, you know, rounds and maybe walking around, checking different patients and things like that. So you may need something that is a little bit more portable than what you have with the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus. I would suggest for people like that, uh, the regular Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 because it's slightly smaller. It's a little bit more portable than what you have with the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus. So it will be, and it should be able to fit the big pockets in your blouse so that when you're walking around and you can you know, easily pull it out and do whatever you doctors do and then you know, slip it right back in the pocket there. But that was just a parenthesis. Now, I also do know that there are coders, people who are programmers, I should say. There are programmers who wanna know if this tablet would be good for them, of course. Pick this, this guy is a top level tablet still. Now, if you need something a little bit more powerful, obviously go for the Galaxy Tab S8 Plus. Now, I don't wanna pull this video and make it too long. I was really just trying to make a short video just to inform people who are still kind of hesitating, you know, people who are hesitant about picking up the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus because they know that the Galaxy Tab S8 Plus is out. So they're wondering, ah, uh, is it still worth it? You have to keep in mind that when a new tablet, when a new device, I would say, doesn't matter what it is, when a new device drops, it doesn't automatically mean that the previous gen or the predecessor is going to the crapper. It doesn't. It truly just means there is a new option. You have, if you're looking for more power, then you could go ahead and grab the newer one. The old one will still, you know, perform pretty well. And of course, some of the drawbacks would be the fact that as I mentioned earlier, it won't be supported. You know, the, the support is going to be pretty close to the end. And not only that, the newer one are being supported longer. Also, that doesn't mean that when it's not supported, your tablet just stop working. Obviously not. It still works. It just won't be supported. So it might not be as optimized when it comes to certain things, but it still will work because you have to remember new technology. These things are just so good. Even when people ask me, which phone should I buy? I just want a basic phone. It's like, any phone, any $150 or any $200 phone will do most things that the iPhone 13 Pro Max that I have here, which is an $1,100 or $1,200 phone can do, right? Because technology is just so good today, just picking up something like this, good battery too. Very, very good battery. So if you buy a brand new, you are definitely guaranteed at least a day battery based off of your usage and all that good stuff. But anyway, let's go ahead and stop this video now. Oh, by the way, if this is your first time visiting, make sure you hit both the like and the subscribe button there. I truly appreciate that. Anyway, so I will catch you in the comment section. If you have any questions about the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 or the S7 Plus, make sure to put those in the comment section. I'll catch you there. I'm also gonna catch you in the next video, of course. Make sure to share this video if you know anyone who will be interested in watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. Like I said, I'll catch you in the next video. And up until then, of course, as always, stay safe out there.